guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another one in preparation for my upcoming trip to Disneyland. And it's a video I've gotten requests for a lot in the past. It's about what's in my Disney bag. And the reason why I haven't done it until now is because I've seen a ton of other YouTubers do this video already. And I felt like there really wasn't any need for me to make one because it's going to be very similar to what I've already seen on YouTube. But you guys have asked for it still, so I'm going to do it. So these are just the essentials that I put in my bag with me when I'm visiting all the Disney theme parks. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the different types of bags I like to use. This one I've used um, in my most recent trip. I bought it when I went to Disney World in October and I got it from Forever 21. It was like maybe 20 bucks, so super reasonable. On this pocket, the first pocket, there's just that's all there is. And then on the back pocket, you have a spot where you can put phone. There's like a phone pocket and there's also a zipper pocket in the back. And then there's nothing in the back. This is the one that I got for my trip to October. I thought it was perfect for fall. I really had a good idea in mind of what I wanted and this matched it perfectly. I even brought it with me on my recent trip to Montana. So I bring this wherever I go. But the one I'm showing you guys today is the one I actually bought when I was in Disney World as a Disney bag. This is my first Disney bag and I got it from Vera Bradley. This is from the Vera Bradley outlet and I just think it's so fun and cute because it is so colorful. I feel like it just blends right in so well with Disney. Fun things to note about this one, it does come with a little pouch right here on the side if you want to put a water bottle. And there's a couple great things I like about it for safety purposes too. One thing that's great is on the back here there's a zipper and that's where I typically put if I'm like flying or anything like that. I'll put my passport or I'll put my ID, my wallet. I'll put it back here because if it's on you and someone happened to just reach in your bag to grab something, like they're trying to steal something, they can't really reach behind you and grab your wallet. So that's why I like this zipper right here is because I think it's a little bit more safe than any of the other ones. This is super easy access. So what I put in this first one because it has a magnetic clip, fast passes. Since at Disneyland you still have the paper fast passes, I'll put those in there. I'll put a magic band in there. Especially if I'm at Disney World, I don't wear my magic band all the time. I just don't want anything to happen to it. So I'll put it in this pouch and then if I'm getting it for a photo pass, I'll just quickly just grab it out and have them scan it. So next inside the bag, it does have those two pouches, the first one, the little ones in the front, and then in the bag, there's no other pouches except it does have a little spot right here where you can put your cell phone. But what I usually carry with me in my bag, of course, is a wallet. I have a smaller wallet and I have it, I basically just keep all the necessities in here, like all my cards. What I typically like to do is just have a couple cards in here, just that way I know where everything is and I'm not trying to fumble through things if I'm in line trying to buy food or trying to buy lunch or anything like that. I typically like to use my Disney bag as my photography bag because I am so into photography. I actually got a brand new camera and that's what I'm using now so hopefully the quality is better. Um, I'm really excited about it and I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to play with it. But as a demonstration, this is my old camera I used to use. It's still really great. But I will typically have that at the bottom of my bag. I'll also be sure to carry extra camera batteries with me. I just got a brand new camera, so the batteries unfortunately are different from my old camera. But whatever camera I'm choosing to use that day, I'll make sure to bring extra batteries and I'll have them pre-charged. I always like to carry extra batteries, extra SD cards, because you just never know. And the worst thing would be to like lose power or run out of room on your memory card if you're about ready to watch a show or something. Those are things that are musts for me personally because I love taking photos. I will also make sure that I have a battery with me too just to make sure my phone doesn't die. I've seen this in other videos that people have done and it is a must mainly because I've realized after working there for whatever reason the Disneyland parks or the Disney World app drains your battery like no other especially if you're connected to the Wi-Fi. I don't know what it is but personally, I just don't go on the Wi-Fi. I have unlimited data, so I can afford to do that. But I won't use the Wi-Fi, or if I'm using the app, I'll close out of it as soon as I'm done because I've noticed that both using the app and using the Wi-Fi provided by Disneyland or Disney World just drains your battery. In case that does happen, I do bring an extra battery with me and I make sure to bring both a charger and I'll bring an outlet too because sometimes you can find outlets if you're eating somewhere and it's just easier to like save your battery for like cases where you really need it. So I will still bring a charger with a plug into a wall in case I do find an opportunity to use it. Obviously by now you guys know that I love doing my makeup. I was a makeup artist and so that's one of my favorite things to do in the morning before going to the parks is just doing my makeup for me. It's just a way to be creative and I absolutely love it. By the time that I go to the parks, my makeup's all done already, but there are a few things that I will still bring with me in case something does happen. So I'll bring mascara in case I choose to take off my false lashes. 
I'll bring extra lash glue. I know I've had a couple different comments now on people asking me how I keep my lashes on while going on rides like Rock and Roller Coaster or California Screamin', rest in peace. I've never really had any problems, but in case I do or I notice like the edges are starting to come up a little bit, I'll bring some lash glue. And what else do I have? I've been loving Benefit recently also because I'm working with Benefit as a Club Pink member. So they send me a ton of their stuff, which is nice, but then naturally I will use it because it's what's nearby. And so I will keep a brow pencil with me. It doesn't have to be Benefit. There's one from NYX that's really awesome and Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. But I'll just keep a pencil as opposed to like a gel or anything like that because if it's going to be warm, I don't want it to like melt in any way. I don't think it would, but this is just really easy to use. And then I will also bring whatever lipstick I was wearing that day with me in my bag just to do touch-ups. Especially, this is a pretty good lipstick. It's a matte lipstick, so if I'm eating food, it won't really come off, but in case it does, I have an extra one just to do touch-ups and stuff. This is the shade Aria. I always get asked about, like what lipstick I'm wearing, so it's Aria. These lashes are from House of Lashes, and they are the Iconic Light Lashes, which means they're not as full as the Iconic ones. So those are the essentials when it comes to what I put into my Disney bag. There are maybe a couple other things I would add depending on what I'm doing. This will be different too because I'm used to going to Disney World where I'll just go for a couple hours, I'll do a couple things, or I'll have a purpose in why I'm going, and then I don't really need to bring a ton of stuff because I used to live there. But now as I'm visiting Disneyland as a guest, I have to bring everything with me because I won't have the luxury of just like going home or just being like, oh, I'll go back next, the next day or something like that. So other things I might want to add is I do have a character autograph book. I think I've shown you guys before. It's a really, really big book. It's like an artistry book, and I got that right before I left Disney World and my goal was to fill it with as many signatures as possible just to keep with me over the years as a like a lifelong memento. So I know that there's a couple characters in Disneyland I haven't gotten the chance to meet yet like Dr. Facilier. So I'm going to bring that with me just to get those signatures to add to my book. But since the book is extra heavy, I don't want to carry it with me in the bag the whole time. So I will definitely rent a locker. Renting a locker is huge and I would highly recommend it. It's only a few dollars. And what's nice is, especially in Florida, because it gets so rainy out of nowhere, I like to get a locker just to put um, flip flops or anything like that. And again, this is if you're intending on spending the whole day there. If I was going for a couple hours, I would just check the weather and make sure that my outfit was appropriate. But if you're gonna stay there the whole day, you're gonna want like a sweatshirt, maybe like a poncho, rain jacket, maybe flip flops to change into when it rains so that your tennis shoes don't get wet. And that's really helpful to have. And sometimes having an extra pair of clothes, like a random t-shirt, you don't care about getting wet, or maybe some athletic shorts that can handle getting wet, are good to put in the locker as well in case you want to go on rides such as Splash Mountain, which I know is not going to be open when I'm there. I'm kind of bummed, but that's okay. And um, Grizzly Bear River Run is also going to be there and it will be open, so I will be going on that. So that's it for what I put in my bag. I know I've gotten this question a lot, but like I don't really put a lot into my bag, so I didn't think it was super necessary, but I'm always curious as to what people are putting in their bags or what clothes they're wearing. Like I love that stuff, so I'm sure you guys are the same way. Basically, I just try to keep it really Really condensed just because you are carrying that on your back the entire day and I don't want to be just hauling all my stuff around the entire theme park. I don't really need that extra weight on me. So I try to keep it as light as possible. And I also like to keep room in there too. Like if I'm wearing accessories like ears or, oh, sunglasses. I forgot sunglasses, one second. So I've been shopping maybe a little bit too much for my upcoming trip recently, just trying to get stuff. Anyways, I got a ton of new sunglasses I want to show you guys, but I will also put sunglasses in my bag too, especially if it gets sunny or if I just want to throw them in my head. Fun fact about me, I actually don't like wearing sunglasses for the purpose they were intended for, mainly because I love doing my makeup and I love doing eyeshadow and if you're wearing sunglasses you can't see the eyeshadow so that's why I don't usually wear sunglasses but I think they're really cute like as an accessory like a headband so if I'm not wearing mini mouse ears I will be wearing sunglasses on my head it also keeps my hair from falling in my face my biggest pet peeve is like these hairs coming forward so I always like either tuck them behind an ear or or wear sunglasses. So I'm really excited to show you guys the sunglasses I just got and they were all really cheap. American Eagle was having a sunglass sale and these ones were 40% off, but I thought they were super cute. Um, they had like a pink tint to them. Even though when you look at them straight on, they kind of look bluish, but then they look pink too. And I just like the gold detail and they were super cheap. So I'm like, well, 
you know, if I'm not spending 100 bucks on these, might as well have a fun pair of glasses. I also got these from American Eagle as well. I think these both came out to be around $10, but I thought these were super cute too. They have a ton of really cute and trendy sunglasses, but it was really nice to get these because they're only like 10 bucks. These ones were $14. All these are gonna be from like 14 to like $15. That was like the most expensive one. So they're all really reasonable. These ones are ones I got from BP and Nordstrom's. I love the shape of them and I like the fact that they were white on the edges too. And then these ones are pretty much the exact same as the BP ones. These ones are from Target though and they are more of like a tortoise shell and they have gold on the edges. So that is it. I know it wasn't super long but I don't put a lot of stuff into my bag so that's pretty much it. Again, the point is to not put a ton of stuff in your bag. Only put the things that you really really need some things that you might need that I didn't mention are snacks or even having like an autograph book anything like that deodorant would be good sunscreen if you feel like you need to reapply there's a lot of different things that you could add on depending on you and what you feel like you need at the parks but for me those are just the basics of what I take with me so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I am so excited to go to Disneyland I know I've said it so many times but I haven't been there forever and I'm just getting really excited during this whole planning process and really finding cute shorts and I got this t-shirt from American Eagle. I cannot wait to show you guys all the stuff I got and I can't wait to share all of my adventures with you guys. Thank you so much for following along and thank you for 30,000 subscribers. I feel like I don't really acknowledge those kind of milestones but it does mean a lot to me to have all of your guys' support. It's been so cool to connect with you guys too and hopefully I see a lot of you guys when I'm at Disneyland. Please come say hi. I think that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!